Borgita and the Coyote by Verna Ardema, illustrated by Petra Mathers. Borgita and the Coyote, a tale from Ayulta, Mexico. On a farm at the foot of the mountain, there once lived a little ewe lamb. Her master called her simply Borgita, which means little lamb. One day, Borgita's master tied her to a stake in the field of red clover. The lamb was eating the lush plants when a coyote came along. I don't see the coyote in the picture right now. Let's see if we spy him next. There he is. The coyote growled. Grrr! Borgita, I'm going to eat you! Borgita bleated. Bah! Bah! Oh, Senor Coyote, I would not fill you up. I am as thin as a bean pod. When I have eaten all this clover, I shall be fat. You may eat me then. Coyote looked at the skinny little lamb and the wide clover fields. Está bien. That is good, he said. When you are fat, I shall come back. After many days, the coyote returned. He found the lamb grazing in the meadow. He growled, Grr, Borgita, you are as plump as a tumbleweed. I'm going to eat you now. Borgita bleated, Bah, bah, senor coyote, I know something that tastes ever so much better than lamb. What? asked coyote. Cheese, said Borgita. My master keeps a round of cheese on his table. He eats it on his tacos. The coyote had never heard of cheese, and he was curious about it. How can I get some of this cheese, he asked. Borgita said, there is a pond at the end of the pasture. Tonight, when the moon is high, meet me there, and I will show you how to get a cheese. Está bien, said coyote. I'll be there. coming from his mouth. The sun is going down. Let's see what's going to happen next. That night, when the full moon was straight up in the sky, Borgita and the coyote met at the edge of the pond. There, glowing in the black water, was something that looked like a big, round cheese. Do you see it? cried Borgita. Swim out and get it. Coyote slipped into the water and paddled toward the cheese. He swam and swam, shh, 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 shh. but the cheese stayed just so far ahead. Finally, he opened his mouth and lunged, whoosh. The image shattered in the splash. Pond water rushed into Coyote's mouth, coughing and spluttering. He turned and headed for the shore. When he reached it, the little lamb was gone. She had tricked him. Coyote shook the water off his fur. <laughs> then he looked up at the big cheese in the sky and he howled. Oh! At dawn the next day, Borgita went to graze near a small overhanging ledge of rock on the side of the mountain. She knew that the coyote would be coming after her, and she had a plan. As the sun rose over the mountain, Borgita saw the coyote coming. He was sniffling along with his nose on some trail. She crawled under the ledge and lay on her back, bracing her feet against the top. She's got a trick for him. When the coyote found her, he growled, Grr, Borgita, I see you under there. I'm going to pull you out and eat you.
por aquí está bleated. Bah, bah, señor coyote. You can't eat me now. I have to hold up this mountain. If I let go, it will come tumbling down. The coyote looked at the mountain. He saw that the lamb was holding it up. You are strong, said Borgita. Will you hold it while I go for help? The coyote did not want the mountain to fall, so he crept under the ledge and put up his feet. Push hard, said Borgita. Do you have it now? I have it, said Coyote. But hurry back. This mountain is heavy. Borgita rolled out of the shallow cave and went leaping and running all the way back to the barnyard. Coyote held up the rock until his legs ached and he was hungry and thirsty. At last he said, even if the mountain falls, I'm going to let go. I can't hold on to it any longer. The coyote dragged himself out and covered his head with his paws and the mountain did not fall. Then he knew the little lamb had fooled him again. Coyote sat on his haunches and howled, oh! Early the next morning when the coyote hid, I'm sorry, early the next morning the coyote hid himself in a thicket in the lamb's pasture. When she drew near, he sprang out with a woof and he said, Borgita, you will not escape this time. I'm going to eat you now. Borgita bleated, Ba, ba, senor coyote, I know I deserve to die, but grant me one kindness. Swallow me whole so that I won't have to suffer the biting and the chewing. Why should I make you comfortable while I eat you? demanded the coyote. Anyway, I couldn't shallow, um, I couldn't swallow you all in one piece, even if I wanted to. Oh, yes, you could, cried Borgita. Your mouth is so big. You could swallow a cougar. Open it wide and I'll run and dive right in. She's got a trick for him. You just wait. Coyote opened his mouth wide and braced his feet. Borgita backed away. Then she put her head down and charged. Bam! She struck the inside of Coyote's mouth so hard she sent him rolling. Ow! 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 howled the coyote as he picked himself up and ran, his, ran away, his mouth feeling like one big toothache. And from that day on, Borgita frisked about on the farm at the foot of the mountain, and Coyote never bothered her again. This book was published in 1991.